Yeah, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Oh, you're not going to be looking in my ugly mug today because we're talking about something far more serious. That's right, we're talking about the new chat wheel of... I don't know what word I can use, really. That's right, Wargaming changed the in-game chat commands. And, well, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan. But... We're going to go through all the ins and outs, the what's, the wherefores, how you can get it to work for you, etc, etc. So, without any further ado, let's first look at how you sort out your settings on your screen for touch players. Okay, this is for touch players initially. But before we get into that, this video is sponsored. So, more about that later, we'll have a word from our little sponsor. So let's get in to see how you as a touch player can change your screen settings. Right, in order to change your settings, you need to go down to the little settings wheel on your device. Go to controls and then click touch controls editor. Here you will see the layout of your screen. There you can just pick whichever icon you want and you can place it anywhere within the green area, okay? So it's up to you. You can you will see there are areas that you can't put it, but you can put the icons anywhere within the green area. You can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, whichever is comfy for you. Now, those of you who have been playing for a while will know that with the introduction of the new chat, all your settings got changed. For those of you who are pretty new, you may not know about this. So that's how you do that. Just jump into your control settings and you can change everything around on your touch device can't do that on a PC however sorry about that PC players okay once you've done that let's jump into a training room and see how the chat works so you press the sword key which is the chat prompt and then you scroll around with your finger or your thumb whichever you're comfortable with and that's one way of doing it scrolling around until you pick the chat prompt command that you want in this instance hold position so that's one way of doing it um, it is quite finicky, and I've slowed down the footage here. Okay, so this is only at 50%. If I show you what it looks like in real time, well, you'll see it's pretty quick. So this is what that looks like in real time. And as you can see, it's pretty, pretty fast. I did slow it down to 50%. Now, one of the problems I have with this chat wheel is that in the heat of battle, it's going to be a bit of a ball's ache. Let's not kid ourselves to find those commands. However, there are a few little tips and tricks that we can use. So instead of having to scroll around, if you know where the chat prompts are, in this case, go to base A, you can just sort of hold the chat and scroll your finger to that position, like negative here. That way I don't have to hold my thumb or finger on the actual wheel and rotate it round. I can just sort of hold the chat prompt, then flick it, okay? And if I flick it to the area where I think that prompt is, then it will generally pop up. However, the default position, and I found this out the hard way, is attack, okay? So if you just press the button, it will just say attack. And if you don't know where the chat prompts actually are, then you could end up sending people into the wrong direction and where you don't want them to go. Or, like me, when you're trying to tell somebody you're going to base B, you keep telling everybody to attack, which can be a bit of a trauma. So, there are three ways, well, or three elements to this chat command. There's one, hold it down, rotate it with the wheel, as we saw. Two, hold it, then sort of swipe it to the chat command that you want, pretty quickly or finally just press the chat key but that will only say attack okay now in the heat of battle it will generally say attack the tank that you are sort of aiming at pretty much like the old chat now why they changed the old chat I don't know but I can see the benefits of this chat if they want to add more keys then they can and it makes it pretty easier um, it, it gives them those options but to be honest with you, for a touch player, it is a bit of a pain in the posterior. I'm not going to lie. It's taken me a lot of time to get used to it. Now, I'm still not used to it. And to be honest with you, playing yesterday, I sort of gave up on chatting because it was distracting from the actual gameplay. 
And the idea of the game is to play the game, not to try and work out the chat prompts or commands, to be honest with you. And I'm a great believer in that for effective communication, it has to be pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Now, as a touch player, it isn't straightforward. It, is, it isn't that simple, not really. And I can see that there are a lot of touch players are gonna sort of have problems getting used to this one. However, if you're a PC player, a little bit different and we're going to talk about that right after we've had we, we've heard from our sponsor this video is sponsored by world of warships a multiplayer online game with a fleet of over 200 ships of various classes just waiting to be commanded by you have you ever wondered what it would be like to battle it out upon the high seas, firing broadsides into battleships whilst attempting to avoid an incoming barrage in a variety of different locations and landscapes, from idyllic shores to stormy northern seas? Have you ever wanted to jump into a plane, to be catapulted off an aircraft carrier, Top Gun Maverick style, to swoop down upon some unsuspecting enemy hiding in some safe water lagoon? Have you ever wondered if you have the nerves to be a submariner lying in wait beneath the waves, calculating with precision the timing of your torpedoes to sink unaware targets? All these things and much, much more can be experienced with World of Warships. There are huge bonuses for new players, including the St. Louis, a Tier 3 American cruiser, the Emden, a Tier 2 German cruiser, 7 days of premium account, 200 doubloons, 20 times camouflage restless fire, 2.5 millions of credits, and of course, a shed load of seafaring fun. Just follow the link in the description and download today. Join a team and engage in battle, and you too can master the high seas. Okay, so that's the sponsor out of the way. Now, for all you PC players out there who want to change your settings, pretty much the same thing. Scroll down to the wheel, go down, and look at your controls. And it tells you all your commands right here. And you are able to change these, funnily enough. All you've got to do to change them to fit whatever play style you have with your finger slots is basically just go to the command that you want to change okay pretty straightforward stuff so in this instance we're gonna go and change the capture the base command so hover over with your mouse and press it and it it starts to flash this yellowish color then just assign a new key whatever key you're comfortable with okay so in this case i'm just going to assign it a b key because it, it's just easier for me that way so I've got it highlighted, it's flashing, change it to B, and there you go. Do the same with the affirmative, press it, flashes F5. Now I can change it to whatever prompt I want it to be. Pretty straightforward stuff in this case, F. What about the chat in the game? Well, so for PC players, the chat is a little bit different. It's the, still the same wheel, but to get this one up, you just press the default V. And once it's up, you can just use your mouse to scroll around. No need to trouble yourself with fingers and thumbs and everything. Just like that. So that's what you need to do. Just press V and scroll around with your mouse. Pretty straightforward stuff. You have also got the option of just pressing the normal command prompt. So, you know, if, if you like me changed your key, just press the B key and it will say, go to this capture the base. Pretty straightforward stuff. And you can do that. And it's much more user friendly if you are a PC user because you don't have to muck around with getting this chat wheel up and trying to work out where you're gonna go. You can just press your relevance key on your keyboard and it's much, much simpler, okay? Now, the big difference obviously being is there's a V key and there's that option. If you just tap on the chat, okay, with the V, it'll just say attack and that's fine. But it, it's much easier if you're a PC player than it is a touch player, I'm not gonna lie. And that for me is sort of a distraction from the game again. I'm all for having things easier for PC players, don't get me wrong, but not at the expense of making it more complex for the touch players, it's a little bit unfair. So that's how you basically get to grips with this new chat wheel of fortune, I guess, because if you're a touch player, it can be pretty traumatic. 
So that's my quick overview of the new chat wheel of fortune, wheel of doom, whatever you want to say. For me as a touch player, I'm not impressed, I must admit. I, I find it a distraction and it takes away from the actual gameplay, especially in the heat of battle. And it's going to take some getting used to. I'm not saying that I'm opposed to change. Of course I'm not. But it is going to take some getting used to. And until I get used to it, I'm just going to find it a bit of a faff, if I'm being honest with you. I can see the benefits for PC players. It's a lot easier. Excuse my footage on playing on the PC. I'm not a PC player. So I'm all fingers, thumbs and everything else. When it comes to PC, I'm not used to the keyboard. But um, I can see for keyboard players, it's going to be a lot easier than it is for touch. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been my overview of the new chat. But also an highlight of how to get around those control settings. By all means, comment in everything below. And until the next time, guys, remember, it's just a game. So stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield. And happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.